Just a couple of days after the 2018 summer transfer market had closed in Spain, Real Valladolid announced an extra signing that took many by surprise. It was September the 3rd, and the La Liga club revealed that Ronaldo Nazario had become their new majority shareholder. As a La Liga legend, the news was warmly welcomed in Spain, and there was a buzz of excitement. But why did Ronaldo buy Real Valladolid? First, the details. The Brazilian, who is reportedly worth around 350 million euros, purchased a 51% stake in the club from then-president Carlos Suarez. It was reported that the deal cost him 30 million euros. At first, Carlos Suarez looked set to continue his 17-year reign as president of the club before a restructure was announced on September the 28th. This saw Ronaldo become president, and Suarez take on a less prominent directorial role. At this moment, a long-held ambition of Ronaldo's had been completed. He'd become a president of a professional Spanish football club. But you might ask, why this one? Well, there are lots of pros for Real Valladolid. Firstly, they're in the top flight after securing promotion through the second division's playoffs in the 2017-18 season, beating Sporting Gijon and Numancia along the way. Secondly, they are an historic Spanish club with a rich history and have collected the 13th most points in the all-time La Liga table. That puts them ahead of other clubs like Sporting Gijón, Osasuna, Villarreal, Las Palmas, Getafe and Alaves. Thirdly, their Estadio José Zuria is large and fairly new, having been built for the 1982 World Cup. It holds 26,500 people and is the 11th largest stadium in La Liga in terms of capacity. Furthermore, there are already plans to redevelop the stadium to make it even more modern, with the addition of large electronic screens and Wi-Fi. That project has already been given a budget of 20 million euros, 5 million of which the city council is prepared to pay for. Then there's a fourth reason why Real Valladolid makes sense for Ronaldo. Location, location, location. At just 150 kilometers from Madrid, or a two-hour drive, the club is close to the epicenter of Spanish football and to a city where Ronaldo spent many years of his life. He clearly values the proximity to the Spanish capital, with Real Valladolid having already opened up an office in the Madrid city centre since Ronaldo's arrival. And sporting-wise, this closeness could help the club secure loan deals with the giants of Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid, two clubs who have traditionally liked to send their promising youngsters to nearby clubs like Getafe or Real Vallecano. Real Valladolid could be an option too. And there are personal reasons as well. Ronaldo has spent a lot of time in the region over the years and has already purchased shares in one of the local vineyards. This is a club with a lot of tradition and one that is based in an incredible city, he told reporters in September. As well as Ronaldo wanting to purchase the club, there was also a need for Carlos Suarez to want to sell. I was sure that he was the right person to manage this unique club, Suarez stated at the time of the announcement. The fact that Ronaldo promised to be a serious conservative owner and a hands-on one helped to convince the former president. Asked in a press conference about how much he'd be involved, Ronaldo replied, Do you think I'm going to buy a club and then go on holiday the next day? And Ronaldo has stayed true to his word and been very active. He was even lending a helping hand during the summer transfer market, even before the change of ownership was announced. The month of August was crazy, he said in late September at the World Football Summit. We worked a lot to sign the best players for the club and bring in what the coach and sporting director needed. It was very tough because of the finances. I had to use my charisma and charm to try and convince players to join, although I'm not too sure that it worked that well. The club spent just 3 million euros in total in the summer transfer market, the second lowest expenditure of all La Liga clubs. But Ronaldo has stated that he's in it for the long haul, even if relegation has suffered, although the goal is, of course, to stay up and grow from there. It's an exciting time for the city and the club. The Ronaldo era is only just beginning. (laughs) 